The reality that so many of us are unaware of or even blind to is that um, millions of women and young girls are being sexually exploited right now. Women in this moment are injecting their next hit of heroin, are being raped, are being um, filmed, sold for sex, are selling themselves because they feel they have no other choice to be able to support their children. Sexual exploitation isn't just happening in Las Vegas and Atlantic City. It's happening right here in our backyard in the Harrisburg region. These are our friends and our neighbors. Their children are going to school with your children, or they may even be students in a classroom with your child. In 2008, Peace Promise began as a prayer movement in response to a documentary. Soon after, we began praying at truck stops and hosting regional awareness events. In 2013, we joined forces with a grassroots ministry called Precious Oaks that ministered to women and their families in local strip clubs. Our outreach ministry, Precious Oaks, is led by Patty Seaman. On a weekly basis, Patty takes teams into strip clubs to make connections with women who are stripping or being prostituted. My name is Patty, and um, several years ago, I really felt called to come and I had a mindset of coming in here to rescue girls. Um, I wanted to come and pray out in front of the building and then bust down some doors and come in here and rescue girls. We support women we make connection with in very practical ways. Our goal at Peace Promise is to create a kinship with these women and the definition of kinship is to have a common ancestry and we truly believe that we do. And so we do life with these women as we're connecting with them in, in that kinship sort of relationship. And we help them with daily life skills, with grocery shopping. We help with resume writing, transportation, prison visitation, food needs, rent needs. We help with college entrance applications and, and tuition support. We help with GED support, basic life skills, counseling, and most importantly, spiritual growth. Erica is a good representation of the women that we work with on a regular basis. She's currently taking steps through resume writing and job interviews to leave the sex industry with our care and support. It's like sad because like as women, like we shouldn't have to, I should never have to come here and feel like this is my comfort zone. Like this is where I'm comfortable. Like I should feel like that at home or alone. You know, like to come here, like we sit here and we sit here and get naked for nothing. And you sit here in front of all these men and at the time you're fine, you're comfortable. You even feel like you're on top of the world. You feel like you're just in control. It's good, it feels good to be in control of some man that will just sit here and give you money. They make you feel beautiful. It makes you feel sexy. But if you actually really think about it in all reality, they're not making me feel beautiful or sexy. I'm an object to them. This place is a bad place. This is bad. There's nothing good about this. I just want to be saved. Like I just want to be OK. I want to be able to have something happen, and I know it's going to be OK. You guys make me feel like that. You guys make me feel like no matter what, it's gonna be okay. I love the prayers. I love that they pray for me. I love that they pray for everybody. Jesus loves all these girls immensely. He loves them. They are amazing, unique individuals. They are girls that have purpose and value. They have dreams, they have hopes. And Jesus wants to meet them right here and love them and help them to achieve all those, all those dreams and to be the person that he created them to be. We invite you to lend your support to Peace Promise so that we can continue our work providing care and advocacy for women like Erica and many others in our local region.